How's it going, guys? Welcome to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. A new Let's Play that I've been wanting to actually play. <laughs> well, I wanted to play Evil Within, don't get me wrong, I'm just saying. Um, had my own this game for quite some time. It looked very interesting, looked very unique. And uh, I know you're thinking right off the bat, um, hey, where's your webcam? Well, first and foremost, I heard that this game is very cinematic, very, you know, engrossing experience kind of thing. So I really wanted to, you know, kind of just show as much of it as I can without having my big, fat, ugly mug on the screen, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, I tried the game for like maybe like a minute just to see how it ran and everything like that. So uh, I'm just going to start a new one. All right, let's get into this. This one looks good, guys. Yes, I only played for 20 seconds, literally. This game is a narrative experience that does not hold your hand. All right, then. Well, that looks like it's going to be good, then. Ethan Carter I didn't know, but he knew who I was. When the police won't help you and the priests don't believe you, you call on Paul Prospero. You call on me. If you're a kid like Ethan, you're right. Plenty do. Ethan's letter started out just like any other fan mail. But soon there were mentions of things no little boy should know about. There are places that exist that very few people can see. Ethan could have drawn a map. I hadn't entered Red Creek Valley yet, but already I could feel its darkness reaching out for me. Finding Ethan Carter wasn't going to be as easy as knocking on his door. I was too late for that. To find Ethan, I had to figure out what this place was trying to hide from me. Alright. Well then. First off, one thing I want to mention is this game looks absolutely amazing. Like... Visuals so far are great. I oh, these trees. Like I just I don't know, man. It looks so I love games like this. Alright. Well, I guess we could get off the beaten path here. Whoa! Oh whoa, 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 what was that? Where did that come from? I did I step on something? Sorry, my voice get all panicky there. Sense. Oh, what does this do? Trap. Uh, it just makes like a moon circle thing here, or half moon, I should say. Okay. Well, that that was that was interesting. Okay. I wasn't expected. I, to tell you the truth, I don't even know if this is a horror game. I have no idea what type of game or genre this game falls into. I'm scared to keep moving. I don't want to get hit by that. Was I just lucky? Oh! Oh my god. Interesting. Okay. So I'm assuming I'm playing as Paul Prospero, I think that was his name. And I'm looking for Ethan Carter. And he was already saying that this place has a darkness about it, and I guess that's what it is. <laughs> uh, illusionary traps everywhere. Oh, wow. So it seems like I'm adding more pieces to the puzzle here. I heard that. That tree branch looks awfully off. <laughs> oh, what I did there? Oh, dude. I think there's one more trap I have to find. 
I kind of don't want to find it. I feel like I, the last trap will hit me. <laughs> wow, look at that. This game looks absolutely stunning. I know I've said it already before, but... Oh, hey, I can zoom in. That's cool. Yeah, this game looks gorgeous. I don't even use that word. I never I never use that word. That's not a word I have in my vocabulary. I use it for random occasions, like this one. Mm -hmm. I'll let you guys know that I have no idea where I'm going. Um, oh, shit. Holy crap, that one got me good. Oh my lord. <laughs> what did I just do? What did I do? Oh, this wasn't here. I didn't see... Did Were there skulls here? Oh, what is this? Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. An old man came to the forest every day to drink sap, sap from the trees. To get there, the old man had to step around many dangerous traps. The villagers believed this old man had hidden a jade amulet in the forest. But the old man wanted the villagers to believe this because then they would search the forest for treasure and not drink his sap. One cool fall night, someone set fire to the forest and the fire spread to the village. The old man escaped the fire by covering himself in sap. When he returned to the village, he found all the villagers' bones. The old man sat down and cried. Then he found more sap to drink. Ethan, I told you, you can't be here. But Gramp, I wrote something for you. That's real nice. Thank you. Just, just leave it. I'll read it later. Sap. I, I didn't want to put it away. Oh, wow. So there's things I can... I'm assuming there's things I can sense that just give me a general lay of what actually happened here before. That's what I'm assuming. I'm pretty sure that's, you know, the idiot's way to say it. But, you know, this game doesn't hold your hand. <laughs> so I guess you could come up with your own interpretation for these kinds of phenomena all right well let's keep moving forward saw this uh, creaky bridge over here I hope I don't fall through Red Creek Valley seemed like a quiet ordinary place I've learned two things in my life no place is truly quiet and nowhere is really ordinary Ethan warned me about that Warned me not to be fooled by what I saw here. He didn't need to worry. I'd worked dozens of cases, hundreds. This would be my last one. Hmm. I'm gonna assume that um, the guy I'm playing as is obviously the best in the business when it comes to detective work. Heck, he's able to have, like, a sixth sense of things, which is crazy. Ooh, what is that? Is there something behind me? Okay, that, the, 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 the music just got, like, crazy. Whoa, what's this? Oh, inspect. Cut tie. No blood? Rope. Anything else to know about this rope? It's tied to that. Is that it? Hello? I mean, is that anyone? Whoa, is that? Whoa, that's a lot of blood. That is. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, someone lost their legs. Rest of the corpse. Blood trail. Victim. Dragged away. Crawled away. Severed legs. 
Goodness gracious. That's just terrifying. Oof. Oh, snap. Spect. Blood from legs, blood from, blood from. Oh, snap, he does have a fractured skull. Blood loss or head trauma? Oh, we got another one of these. Not yet. Death scene disturbed by third party, eroded by time. Okay. Huh. Well, let's let's check down here then. Bloody valve wrench? Okay. I, that just caught my eye. I, I'm surprised I saw it myself. It just looks so off, out of place. Okay, this game, this game is kind of awesome, actually. I really like this. It kind of remi it, it reminds me like of a. Uh, Kind of like Mist. You guys remember Mist? Oh, that's another game I'd love to play again, actually. Haven't played it since, like... Dang, I don't know, 1997, I think, was the last time I played it. I remember that game, um... It always crashed on my old computer because that game was very, uh, memory-intensive. Overall, of anything, because it had so much, you know... Hmm. I wonder, since I got this thing here, does it... Doesn't look like it. I guess I need more clues. But yeah, as I was saying with Mist, um, that game I can never really. F oh, what we got here. I can never really finish it because of it crashing. What do we got? Gasoline, diesel fuel. Dropped. Carelessly? In a rush? Or on purpose? Dried grass. Dried grass. No sun. Oh, what rectangle shape. Oh, uh, whoa, what's up with all this words on my screen now? Rail car, rail car, rail car. Okay, I get it. This game, I feel... I, <laughs> it doesn't look like it's a horror game, but it sure as heck act like, acts like one. Alright. So it looks like this... Railroad tracks have been out of commission for a while, but how does that guy's leg sever? It looked like the the train cut him. What do we got here? Do not enter. Is that, oh, do not enter. That's what exactly. It. Oh, hey, we got something. Rock. Looks like a footprint. Okay, rock, 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 rock. Music is just like calming at the same time creepy. It's weird. I like it and I feel uneasy at the same time. But right now, right off the bat, what I do like about this game is the fact that I, I think it seems like I could just keep walking like towards my path, but there's also areas to like like I could have just gone this way instead of you know where I went down where the uh, where the shoreline was, where I found the bloody wrench or whatever it was, bloody socket wrench, I don't know. I could have totally just skipped that, but it doesn't look like it would have told me, like some games, like Guys of the Wolf, where it said, hey, there's something else here. Whoa. A grenade? Whoa. Okay.
So it seems like this game really rewards uh, exploration. But what do those items have to do with anything, really? You know what I mean? Obviously the guy didn't get hit by a grenade because, well, i just assuming. <laughs> the grenade looks like it hasn't been detonated. Or maybe it's just too old. I don't think there's anything out here. Okay, whoa, 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 did I see something? Maybe it just stopped running so much. I hope I'm not gonna get... What is that? Whoa, what is that? Oh. Damn it. What? What? Whoa, 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 what was that? Oh, crap. Um, hello? Excuse me, sir? Um, who the hell are you? Whoa, wait, come here. What the heck? Whoa! What is going on? I, I, I'm completely lost. Yep. Hey! Sir! Come back here! What the hell? Oh, there he is. Sir? Oh, there he is. Okay, this this game is really, really weird. Where are you leading me to? Okay, it looks like I'm getting closer and closer to him every time. Alright, sir, come here. I am without words right now. I have no idea what just happened. then. Oh, well, we got another note. What do we have here? Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it, when it did not. The beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light. So it chased it deeper into the forest. Oh, wow. When the light stopped, it did so in a clearing of trees. 
The beast entered the circle, feeling no fear. The trees turned toward the beast, pointing at it like needles, but the tops of the trees lowered and dug into the ground. The trunks and roots were raised into the air and closed around the beast like walls. As the ground disappeared, the beast realized it would never use its fangs again. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the fangs one. I liked, uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. Alrighty. Where am I? Okay. That was pretty cool. I have n I don't know who the astronaut was, the spaceman. I have no idea what that was, but I'm gonna cut it here, guys. I've been playing a little a little too long. I'm really getting into this. Oh, this this is awesome. This alright, this game looks this looks like it's gonna be an awesome one, guys, and I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. But Thank you guys so much. I will definitely pick this up, continue this uh, s uh, quickly. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Like, favorite, subscribe. Enjoying, I've been enjoying this so far, and to see more episodes of this in the future. I'll see you guys in the next one. See, I didn't do that. I stopped. I saw it. Oh, okay. Can I sprint? Oh, oh okay. Oh my god. Oh my What is Oh hey What was that? He just spun on a control and blew up. Uh. Oh, I was